Hi guys, I'm Dongo and excuse me, my eyes are up here. I gotta say that because I know you're looking at this thing right now. That is the D-Link AC3200 Ultra Wi-Fi DIR-890L slash R router. Now, this one here is probably the most attention-seeking router on the market. It's so rad, so radical, so UFO-like that if you bring it near the White House, you might get arrested. But it can't fly and there's no need to bring it anywhere. Something you want to use at home. Just hook this one port here to your internet source such as a modem and you'll cover your home with lots of Wi-Fi signals. Now lots because this is a tri-band router, meaning it have one 2.4 gigahertz band that top at 600 megabit per second and two 5 gigahertz band each top at 1300 megabit per second for the total bandwidth of 3200 megabit per second at any given time. Now the reason for the extra 5 gigahertz band is so that it can host more clients on this band without them adversely affecting one another's speed. You can set up those three bands with three separate Wi-Fi network, or you can group them into a one single Wi-Fi network in the Smart Connect mode. Now in this case, the router will decide which client connects to which band by itself. The router is very easy to use by the way, its web interface here is very simple, very well organized and allows you to access different parts very easily. There's a network map here that shows connected clients and allows you to interact with them. You can even connect the router here with the MyDealing portal and manage your home network via your phone or tablet when you're away. But this level of ease of use also means that the router has quite limited settings and features. For example, you can only reserve and unreserve an IP address for a client when that client is connected to the router. And the QoS engine here is very simple. You can only put one client as a top priority and there's no way to prioritize based on application or other categories. Overall, this means savvy user like me will find this router quite lacking. Now performance wise, the dealing here excelled my testing at close range with a sustained speed of some 600 megabit per second, among the fastest I've ever seen. Unfortunately, its range wasn't the best I've ever seen, just somewhere between 120 feet, 150 feet. Now note that the router's six antenna here are not detachable, and that means you cannot replace them with a high gain antennas for better range. To make up for that, the router has stellar Wi-Fi stability. I use it for a week continuously and it's never disconnected once. Now apart from the Gigabit Network port and USB 2.0 port, the router also have one USB 3.0 port to host an extra hard drive. And when it does, it becomes a very viable network storage server. In my testing, it offers the sustained speed of more than 65 megabytes per second for reading and more than 35 megabytes per second for writing via a Gigabit Network connection. That means it can handle file sharing and media streaming really well. Unfortunately, it does not support time machine backup. You know, stacking this router against other AC3200 routers I've reviewed is not the best, not the worst, just about the average. And that's partly because of its lack of feature and short range, but mostly because currently it is the most expensive at $310. Now for more, check out my full review at CNET.com. Basically, if you decide to get it, make sure you're prepared for the attention that you will get or not get because of it. After all, it's unlikely you have the eye-catching eyes that are mine. And that's because I'm Dong Ngo, and this has been the first look at this AC, at this crazy red thing from Dealing. What's the name of this thing again? <laughs>